Irritable Bowel Syndrome or IBS is a group of symptoms that occur together, including abdominal pain and changes in the bowel movement, which may be constipation or diarrhea. IBS is a functional gastrointestinal disorder, which doctors call disorders of the gut-brain axis. It is a term used for the communication network that connects the gut and the brain. These two organs are physically and biochemically connected in many different ways. In functional gastrointestinal disorder, there is a problem with how your brain and gut work together. These problems cause your digestive tract to be sensitive and also change how your bowel muscles contract. It is estimated that around 10 to 15 percent of the adult population in the U.S. have IBS. Types of IBS Scientists categorize IBS into three types, depending on your bowel movement problems. Treatment of IBS will depend upon the type of IBS. IBS with constipation, IBS-C. Your stool will be mostly hard and lumpy. IBS with diarrhea, IBS-D. Your stool will be loose and watery. IBS with mixed bowel habits, IBS-M. You have both loose and watery movements and hard and lumpy movements on the same day. Symptoms of IBS Symptoms of IBS include Abdominal pain or cramps, usually worse after eating. Excess gas or bloating. Diarrhea, constipation or alternating between the two. Mucus in the poop. In females, symptoms may flare up during the periods. IBS is a chronic disorder, meaning the condition may last a long time, sometimes years. However, the symptoms may come and go. Causes of IBS Researchers do not exactly know the causes of IBS. However, there is a combination of factors that can contribute to IBS, including muscle contractions in the intestine. The muscle of the intestinal wall contracts as the food moves through the digestive tract. If the contractions are stronger and last longer than normal, you may experience gas, bloating, and diarrhea. However, if the intestinal contractions are weak, it can slow the passage of food. As a result, more absorption of water occurs in the intestine, leading to hard and dry stools. Nervous System Abnormalities in the nerves of your digestive system can cause discomfort in your abdomen when your abdomen stretches from stool or gas. Poor coordination between your brain and intestine can cause the body to overreact to normal changes occurring in the digestion process, resulting in pain, diarrhea, or constipation. Stress Stress and anxiety can activate the sympathetic nervous system, which is your body's fight or flight mood. This system sets off a chain reaction of hormone release that increases heartbeat, pumps more blood into your muscles, and slows the digestive process in your stomach. Stress also causes the extra release of corticotropin-releasing factor, CRF, which activates your body's immune response and a person may have a strong allergic response to healthy food. Changes in Gut Microbes The gut microbes are a diverse combination of microorganisms like bacteria, protozoa, and viruses. IBS causes an imbalance in gut bacterial communities, leading to activation of the gut immune system and intestinal inflammation. So, what is the treatment for IBS? Treatment of IBS mainly focuses on relieving the symptoms by adjusting your diet, changing in lifestyle, and understanding the nature of the condition. Diet adjustment include Fiber intake People are advised to modify their fiber intake depending on the symptoms they experience. For instance, high fiber intake is beneficial for constipation because it helps form bulk stool, whereas a lower fiber diet can be beneficial for patients with diarrhea. Fluid intake Having enough water intake is important for overall health. In diarrhea, it helps the patient to recover from the fluid loss. It also eases your symptoms, especially constipation. Try to have at least 8 to 10 glasses of water per day. Processed food 
processed foods contain resistant starch, which can be difficult for your body to digest. Processed foods include part-baked bread, oven chips, potato and pasta salad, and ready meals. These starchy foods can aggravate gas, bloating, and diarrhea symptoms. Probiotics Probiotics are good bacteria that will help you to restore the natural balance of gut bacteria. You should try to take it at least for 4 weeks to see if the symptoms improve. Exercise For many people, exercise is a proven beneficial way in relieving IBS symptoms. You should aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity, such as fast walking and cycling every week. Remember, this video is for educational purpose only. We are not giving you medical advice, so you should always consult your doctor if you need any professional opinion. Did you find this video helpful? If yes, then make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification button.